Today, ladies and gentlemen, I played the animal, that one dinosaur. Some of us love it, some of us despise it. A cannibal, the notorious, the one and only Carnotaurus. Welcome to a world that is full of some of the most violent players. You dead? So follow me on this journey into the official servers of the Isle Erevma. I'm gonna run out of stamina. A place ungoverned, no rules, just pure survival. And this day started just like any other day by selecting my habitual colours. Alright, Carnotaurus. Prefer that colour actually. Save that. And we are ready. An ugly little hatchling and an even uglier. Once I created the right blend of camouflage, I spawned into my place of choice, the centre. Okay, let's find some food. Get this. Oh, look at that. Easy. This is why I start centre. No struggles. Just go scavenge and you're all set. I soon bumped into another juvenile Carnotaurus. Now we are cannibals. But with this many bodies in the field, violence was an unnecessary option. It's a bit rotten, but we'll go for it. What's going on, buddy? He joined me and together we feasted. That's it. Alright, I'll get the third hexagon going and we're definitely going to be all sweet. And shortly after, we were joined by a third Carnotaurus, but this one was even bigger than the both of us. I just need like one more bite. Once I filled up some of my diet, I decided to break off and continue as a solo. And just a quick reminder my friends, if you do enjoy my story, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Thank you very much. This is just how the aisle is, mince and repeat the same thing. <laughs> so under the dense foliage, I rested and went AFK, only merging out when the time was right. What do we have? I could probably just pick off a little juvenile. And being so late into the afternoon, finding a meal now could be the difference between life and death. Little stego. <laughs> the juvenile stegosaurus, he stood his ground, but in the end. Sorry, buddy. I need to eat. And once I'd had my fair fill and my stomach was full. I'd moved on, and it was time to hydrate. Okay, so far, not bad. How's my growth? <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. We're getting there. Probably gonna go back to the center and hunt for food. I was getting bigger, but far from being safe. And that's when a rival Carnotaurus had spotted me in the open field. And now with time being of the essence, I had to use everything to my advantage, camouflage, my size, and the shadows. Jesus, that Carno was going to kill me. But I was lucky to evade the possibility of a different outcome. <laughs> yeah, nah. I'm good. I don't trust you at all, my friend. Not one bit. Carno life is a very untrustworthy life. This thing is a cannibal, a menace. It has no regard for any life. With the contents of my stomach getting low, and my diet not looking very promising, the only choice I had was to seek out food. Hang on, where'd that come from? Somebody's killed a boar up here or something. I stumbled across a deceased player, recently killed with no signs of an owner. Pachycephalosaurus? Pretty well been eaten and a bit rotten. But, but what they had left over was now free for the taking. Get some more. Ooh, got the intestines. And once I was done eating, it was time to look for some prime real estate. Absolutely beautiful. And time to grow. But you can only AFK grow for so long. Eventually, the body will require fuel. Oh, 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 oh. And if one does not pay attention to where they're going, then you can lose hours in a matter of seconds. So I need to hunt. I need a Paki, Tenno, Boar, Oni, Kano, Goat, Dry, or Deer. I just heard something over here. There we go. Goat, that's perfect. I wonder if this will fill up the hexagon. I don't think so. No, nah, I'm gonna need one more. After having a rather successful night and making good progress. Hello? Oh, it's a little car, no? But during the first light of the next day, the dark side of this animal started to zero in on a victim. Sorry, 
Imagine an online game where you gotta hunt down other players, kill them and eat them. Sometimes they're even your own species. Welcome to the aisle. I know everyone's like trying to get these specific diets. Like wanting to have all S hexagons and stuff like that. And then of course, two fully grown Carnotaurus appeared on the horizon. It was now or never. We won't waste no time, we'll just... I made a break for the jungle, and only a few minutes later, the server did a restart. No. No! Are you got to be kidding me. Yeah, I'm back in, and I just lost my diet. Oh, yeah, that's painful. Well, at least I don't need to feel guilty about that little Kano, because he's definitely going to log back in alive. No worries, we just got to find some more food. After losing a lot of time and a significant chunk of my diet, mm -hmm. Alright, I'm done. I'm crossing. I'm gonna risk everything. I couldn't stand around and be salty about it. I had to press forward and continue on. Give me that. So for now, back to the basics. I like how the charge like automatically grabs small things like the goats and rabbits and all that. Alright, let's get this diet up a bit. I made it to Fresh Adult later that night. I was almost always starving. The hunting would never cease. Right, let's take this out of the field. Somewhere safe, and in here's my bird. I spent the rest of the night, and into the next day. Just hunting pig down after pig. I kept my head low, because I was well and truly too close to being fully grown now. Safer than sorry. I do have to admit, the AI has come a long way since the days of legacy. Da 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 da, da 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 da. And hopefully I don't get eaten. I think I'm good, but you just never know plan was to head towards the swamps and put as much distance between me and the centre as possible. I'll take it, because I'm that goddamn hungry. But at one point I got so desperate, I was even hunting down frogs. Sunlight's nearly here, hopefully there's something around the swamps, otherwise I could be in a bit of trouble. It was dawn of the next day, but there was nothing at the swamps and I was at rock bottom. Start bleeding out any second now. Oh, beautiful. Okay, cool. And finally, I heard the sound of some AI. Hang on, I see even better. A little stego. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, buddy. But, I need to eat. And then I can also go hunt that deer. I did the same thing anybody else on this island would do. Oh, I went for a charge and failed it completely. Two sub-adult crocodilians. They weren't huge, but they were dangerous. Oh no, got, got a grip on me. It stunned me for a minute. And the pair of them were just too small to be able to grab me. I'm gonna pretend like I'm really hurt and need to run away. And with these young apexes far from the safety of water, my plan was to keep them in land. There we go, that hit him. He got stunned on me again. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's keep him up here. I took the high ground and continued to charge him from a good advantage point. Put that one on the tail. Hit him again. Nice. I continued to reposition, looking for a fresh line of entry, and with every attempt that they made to head back to their swampy home. I think this one's going to stamina completely. I would be there, nibbling and charging at their tails. Okay, yeah, cool. He's bleeding bad. At this point, the albino dinosuchus had taken on some noteworthy damage. I'd landed a lot of bites, and with there being a high probability that he was out of stamina. No. Oh, 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 I needed to keep him inland as long as possible, forcing him to alt bite, draining what he holds most dear. Him right up here. I've got to keep this one up here because he's hurt the most. For now, I was confident that the albino couldn't go anywhere without any stamina. 
So for the meantime, I swap targets. That hurt, that hurt. These sub-adults were only slightly too small to grab me, but we'd been in this fight for quite some time, and soon, they would grow into the necessary size. That's not too bad. Yeah, he's out of, he's out of stamina, he can't hold bite. That one's out of stamina. Alright, how am I doing? I'm injured, these boys are putting up a really good fight. <laughs> Yeah, that one's bleeding out badly. I could see him making a desperate plea for the swamp. He's dead. And finally, after a long, exhausting battle, the Dinosuchus had succumbed to his injuries. Ouch. Alright. I'll fight you for the meal then. But with his friend, dead in front of us. There would be no feast. I'm doing alright. But this is where I went wrong. I'd made a terrible mistake. I just realised, like, extremely badly. <laughs> I'd lost an incredible amount of blood. I don't even think sitting down's gonna save me. Oh, I'm starting to black out, ladies and gentlemen. GG, alligators. I completely forgot to heal. <laughs> I completely forgot to, yeah. I'm dead, I'm 100% gonna bleed out. 100%. So will that other one, he'll 100% bleed out too. Like, we're, we're all gonna bleed out. Yeah, we're, we're, dri we're blacking out. Look at that, we're healing. With every ounce of blood that I had left in me, I honestly thought I was going to die. Wow. I thought I was a dead man for sure, man. I was blacking out, you know, like... That was by far the closest I'd ever come to death and return to life. Oh my god. Once I recovered a little bit, I hunted and killed some AI. I had enough food in my stomach to sustain me for just a little bit longer, but there was no signs of any more AI. Knowing that one of the Dinosuchus is probably still alive, I had to try my luck with the body. There's the Dinosuchus. And now, just like in real life, two animals on the brink of starvation would be contesting for the same food. Something much bigger. Mm, not good, not good. I'm gonna go heal up while I'm still alive. Really wanted that food too, but hey, when you earn it, you earn it. And his son, he's definitely done. He's holding it too, like to the death. He's like, nah, kill my friend. If anyone's eating him, it's me. With the sun now setting, and my hunger constantly reminding me that if I don't eat, I will soon perish. Literally just vaporized it. And after I hunted and killed some AI, I was completely aware that this small meal would only hold me over for so long. And he looks like he's only just small enough not to be able to grab me. Like if he's like another 20 minutes growth sort of thing. He'd actually be big enough to grab me. Which is a scary thought, because he'd grab, grab me and he'd run to the river with me. And that night, with very little other choice, I had to try once again with the body. And that's when he showed me the first sign that perhaps he was too injured to continue contesting. <laughs> he needs to get to the water, does he? He defended his friend's honour with pride, but now he was out of commission. 
I can finally have a feed. Because for a while there, he retreated back into the swamps. Perfect. That was a battle and a half. It's gone for like two days straight. <laughs> but my fortune, it was shrinking within minutes. I had to allow the Dinosuchus to lay a claim to the body, even if it was only for a moment. Ah, I'm in a bad spot there. I am so beaten up. I can take maybe one more little little hit. me on my tail. Eager to survive, for now, I had to retire from this battle. But little did I know at the time, in the future, our paths will cross once again. I can hear something. I was still healing up not long after my battle with the Dinosuchus. Oh, I missed. Little dry. It was dark and almost impossible to keep track of this tiny little herbivore. I got no idea where. I came to a halt and listened very carefully for any signs of movement. Just trying to make a break for it. Just trying to climb. There he goes. Where are you going, you little tricky devil? He was bopping and weaving, cutting the circle every time I got close. He's just too... <laughs> just can't grab him. It's too slippery. I'm gonna run out of stamina. He was going for the river. No, don't die in the water. I had no stamina and started to sink. And when I came out the other side of that river. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Get out of the water. How many times am I going to come this close to death, man? I survived and caught the Drysaurus. I got him on the last bit of stamina as I was drowning in the goddamn water. And luckily, because he's this size, his body didn't, you know, sink. Or it all would have been wasted. The disrespect of a Carnotaurus. Knows no bounds. So I to eat. Rest in peace, my little friend. And GG, if you watch this, that was awesome. And now that I had a decent amount of food in my stomach, I could slowly recover. Might even go check and see if that Dinosuchus body, if there's any left there, I might be able to get some scraps. But the reason I keep playing the oil is just, yeah, the oil has a lot of problems, but it's also mastered what survival should feel like. Even on the official servers with the mixed pack and scumbags. That's the part of the survival, you know what I mean? But outside that, let's see if I can quickly get some of that food. And once again, I returned back to the deceased Dinosuchus. I was hoping to find some scraps, but instead I found something even better. Cool. Cut myself a little tucker. Not exactly little either. The original body was long gone. It had been eaten and now replaced. Something else moving around maybe. Could be a scout up there. Could definitely be a scout. I see another alligator over there on land. He's moving in towards me too. And my old rival, the original Dinosuchus, was slowly creeping back up on me. I'll get as much of this as I can. For 
son of a... I'm gonna drown, possibly. And now that this Dinosuchus was physically big enough to grab me, there was very little that I could do once I was in those jaws. My life was no longer in my hands. That was up until the point he ran out of stamina. <laughs> it's the same one, dude. I knew he was at the right size now. <laughs> GG, man. Me and you have been having some bloody hard battles. And with the wealth of food around here vanishing quickly, I decided now that my stomach was close enough to being full. It was the best time for me to log out for the day. Drink, 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 drink. The next day, I was ready to continue embarking on my journey. Should move on from the swamp. I'm thinking I'll do that. Might head back towards the centre or might even go like northeast or something. Excellent. When you're hungry, the sound of AI is like magic to the ears. This will keep me going for a little bit. And there's another one out there too. Look at my diet all messed up, man. And there was somebody else in the environment, running around, broadcasting. A Pachycephalosaurus. Where is he at? There he is. I tracked him down and found him by the riverbank. I messed up. There we go. You ripper, I needed that. For a minute, it was as silent as a grave. And then all of a sudden... How would you do such a thing? You silly little tacker. It would turn out the Pachycephalosaurus had a child. <laughs> Alright. Now let's eat. I was about to say, I don't think this is going to completely fill up my Hexion. No, it's not. And because... Yeah, it is part of my diet. Why oh, wasn't it filling up the... Oh, I haven't got room for it, that's why. Alright. I get it. Doesn't matter. As long as I got food in my stomach, I'm happy. What else we want here? Some test hunt. We'll take some test hunt with me. Negative dan. But my diet, it was in bad shape. I'll hang around this body for a bit. See if I can... Fix my diet up a bit, because it's actually really bad. Look at it. It's disgraceful. Not that I care much for the diet, but like, hey, maybe I should. Let's put that there. And, uh, let's just get in a bit of growth up here and watch over my body pretty much from afar. Oh, I don't get caught off guard. There are no rules on the official servers, so I didn't have to sit by no bodies. I just wanted to sit here so I had a place to safely heal. That's still looking alright. If I eat now... I'm still not going to have enough room to fill up like a hexagon, I don't reckon. Well, maybe. Nah. Here we go, one more. Let, let's rip it. Uh, didn't quite work. If I ate any more food, I would have puked up and lost all of this diet. So I ripped a chunk off to take it with me because that's all I'd need. The moment my stomach dropped a little bit lower, I could fill up and my hexagon would activate. That was all of it, so I'll just take this with me. And that should... Jesus, 19% negative in damage. My diet's like... I mean, it's, none of them highlighted up, that's why. So they're not actually active yet. That's why. But I'll show you. Once... Or I'll show myself, because <laughs> I'm a freaking idiot that doesn't know much. But um, what I'll do is... Once my f stomach has dropped enough, I'll eat this heart. I think it's a heart I'm holding. Maybe. I'll eat this, and that should make that hexagon lighten up. Which should... Improve the diet. Negative 20% now. Holy crap. It must be because I got a full stomach with no good diet. I'm starting to work it out. See, I work things out the hard way. The only way I learn things is in-game or through my comment section. Oh, I wonder if I can climb that. No, that's a little risky. I fall from up here. You bloody idiot. You even knew it was going to happen. Oh my god. Six <gasps> percent legs fractured. Twenty. Oh my! How many times is this Kano gonna come so close to death? That's a bad one, though, man. Like a real bad one. It'll take forever to recover. 
<laughs> I believe I fell off on there. Finally, my stomach had dropped low enough and I could eat that chunk of meat to fix the diet. Good diet. Instantly improved it. <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm, it's taken me a while, but I'm fully starting to work it out. So for now, at least I could heal a little bit faster. All right, health's not too bad. Drinking water is something everyone must do, but some of us don't return from. And I never take that river for granted. I can appreciate it every time I survived. And not exactly where I want to be. I logged out to get food in real life, and when I logged back in, it was pitch black. Chase food down, I guess, like, you know, that's the whole point of it. And now, later that night, once again, I was struggling to find food. Food. We got food. Well, we got sort of food, anyway. Maybe, possibly. In the water, is it? And after picking up the scent of some dead fish, I questioned to myself. Do I risk it? But I was desperate. I mean, shit, I got no choice. This is so risky, all for a fish. I'm gonna hold thing. Yes! Yes! I'm gonna put it on the ground so I don't swallow it whole. That that could have been a bad idea. Just eat it. Too big to swallow. That's a good sign. Because that means I'm gonna get a bit from it. Oh my god, we're gonna live. I was way too close. It was only a small meal, but it was better than being dead. However, back in the center of the island, I could pick off balls and deer easily. It is daylight at least. Try to save as much stamina as I can when I'm out here, because this is a dangerous spot. If I get caught off guard by avocado groups, I could definitely end up giving them the nutrition they need. There's plenty of goats out here. This is why I like the Santa Man. Oh wow. Everything you need is in Santa. That's why I rarely leave here. No way. Sometimes the servers just do the restarts at the most inconvenient times. Two deers. Two deers. Need one more deer. And then I need a bunch of balls. Under the cover of dark, I was hunting AI later that night. Put my back to the cliff while I eat. But there was somebody else hungry, thirsty for violence, and they were watching me. I just need like two more now. And at least I'll have a decent diet. This one might be enough to do it? I don't think so though. Oh, just maybe, eh? Wouldn't that be nice? There's a Pachycephalosaurus right there. This herbivore was hunting for sport. Perfectly understandable, given the server that I am playing on. A couple of them. And the message was clear. The pair of Pachycephalosaurus would show no mercy. He messed up. He did. And with one of them dead, most of the time, I would consider stopping and eating. However, on that night, I would show this Pachycephalosaurus that I would treat them with the same courtesy that they would show me. He did. Ooh, because I needed that food. You beauty. Thank you for your sacrifice, gentlemen. Much appreciated. And now here on the top of the canyon, with a mountain of bodies, I could finally feast. When it costed you your lives. Right, now I need a deer. Always a bit of a nerve-wracking spot to drink here, but... When you got a drink... You My gotta... diet was near perfect once again. I just needed a single deer or boar, so it was back to the grasslands. Gotta eat them if I need to. And I would have only needed a single body... I really wanted a deer. ...to have activated the hexagon. Perfect. Or near enough. There's definitely no deer out here. I might have to cross over to the other side and try my luck over there. I made my way back to the corpses of the Pachycephalosaurus to fill up. Let me just grab one more piece, just some. I was still searching for AI for my diet. And that's when I came across a solo Tenontosaurus. And this presented itself to be a good opportunity given I don't get myself killed. I have to play this smart for a lot of old bites, I reckon. 
stay away from his tail. And this solo Tano knew exactly what he was doing. He had some good experience. I gotta let him bleed. Let him bleed out. I'd landed a few alt bites, but not enough to bleed him out. Hmm. He just gave me a whooping with that tail, no doubt. But at the end of the day, he beat me, and I had to back out if I wanted to survive. I know that somebody in the comment section will tell me exactly what I did wrong. However, just don't forget that this is gameplay, and I show you guys everything in the exact sequence and how it happened. GG, dude. Definitely gave me a good whooping. Bit of a gentleman's fight on the official servers, so to speak. <laughs> Recalling each other, like, yeah, you, you don't really get much respect on the, on the official servers. It is just, you know, straight up a friggin' battle royal survive, battle royal survival. Like, that's what it is, no doubt. After the battle, I spent some time healing up. But when I was returning back to the Pachycephalosaurus bodies, I might be able to still get my meal. A Dinosuchus was closing in on me fast in the grasslands. Holy crap! There was a player using speed hacks and God knows what else. There was nothing I could do. Speed hacking. Maybe? Yeah, it gotta be. Look how fast he is. So for now, ladies and gentlemen, this is where my story was cut short. <laughs> You're a pathetic person. <laughs> Imagine that. It is what it is. Not the exact ending that I would have liked, but. This is the end. I hope you enjoyed the video regardless, and if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. This is your boy, Our Time, at the end of another adventure. Signing out.